My name is David Dice. I'm the director of Montgomery County's Department of General Services. Well, the microgrid project is one aspect of the county's overall capital uh, improvement program and a clear, prominent demonstration of Montgomery County's longstanding commitment to environmental sustainability as well as resiliency. Uh, the county has uh, long invested uh, a great deal of time, effort, and money to ensure that uh, our environmental commitment to the region uh, has been sustained, that we have uh, lowered our carbon footprint, that we have demonstrated long-term reliability in the way we design and construct our facilities. The microgrid is a great example of not only that, but our commitment to public safety and lowering our uh, capital and operating energy costs that the county citizens pay every year in funding the county's budget. My name is Robert Green. I'm the director of the Montgomery County Department of Correction and Rehabilitation. The leadership of Montgomery County gives us the opportunity to be innovative. That, I think that's an important thing to look at. I, I don't believe there's any equating how much just simply dollars you throw at a problem as to how well you fix it. It's government allowing you, as, as leaders, allowing me as a director to be innovative and pursue projects like this. Um, and, and then figure out how to make them work in what might be a non-traditional environment. Like, well, Rob, how do you install something that is that can be a bit complex to tie into your other systems uh, and how are you able to to make that all work well well allowing me to be innovative to do that making sure that we're included uh, in in these solutions and in these conversations as a correctional facility uh, uh, that, that's a hallmark of what Montgomery County does we're a 305,000 square foot building um, and when they're talking about energy efficiency yeah they're calling the guy at the jail um, uh, you know, how can we help you? How can you be a part of this? Uh, you know, our, our solar fields are just another example of, of how we can use space around the facility where you still have your, uh, a strong security perimeter for a correctional facility, but you make that security perimeter also profitable back to the county and back to the citizens. My name is Earl Stoddard. I'm the Director of Emergency Management and Homeland Security for Montgomery County. The Office of Emergency Management and Homeland Security plays a coordination role within emergency management. We aren't necessarily directing, but we're coordinating with our partners. We're asking questions about what sorts of functions take place in this facility versus other facilities and weighing the different options that are out there. Then we make a recommendation to our, to our partners and that's really what drove the decision to move forward. This building was, was fairly obvious in the, in, the, in the sense that there were so many core functions that were performed out of this building that uh, it sort of stepped up on its own but the reality is there are other county facilities that we think could very well serve the similar purpose or, or, or have similar importance to our overall coordination responsibilities during emergency response. And so um, I think that this is one of many projects over the coming years that will similarly improve our infrastructure in such a way that will be better placed and more secure in the future. Eric Kaufman, Chief of the Office of Energy and Sustainability within the Department of General Services. The Schneider and Duke team were able to bring something really critical to us, which was how do we afford this? How do we as a county government, and every county government always tight, is always going to be tight. That's just the nature of county budgets. So we take, so we looked at this, what Schneider and Duke were offering and we, and we saw the way to structure this as a service to where we paid for the electricity generated and the services delivered to the community was an excellent way to structure the project so that it didn't interfere with the county's other needs, the other expenditures to keep our community running. And it also allowed us to put a layer of accountability on the vendor. It is truly a public-private partnership where the vendor is taking responsibility for ownership and operation of the system. And we are using by shifting our utility costs over 25 years to cover the costs of the system. So it came together very well, it came together in a way that met our needs, would meet the needs of other local governments, and that was critical to our selection.